The consensus across the scientific community is that a whopping 93% of all communication that you have with another person is happening on a non-verbal level, meaning you are communicating with your body. So what does this mean for you? What does this mean for you and dating? Well, this means that we can take advantage of this idea, work on our body language as a tool to communicate, to be able to help connect with the people that we talk to, especially a woman that you are talking to for the very first time. We can actually hack into this idea and we can use some strategies to be able to connect with her faster. There's a phrase called building rapport. Maybe you've heard this in the dating advice community or anywhere else that you're learning about how to socialize, but building rapport with someone is just a, a way of saying you're building a connection with another person. And so one way to build rapport with someone is to be able to work on the body language communication. And a really cool way to do that, as we keep on going down, down, down to the funnel here, is a little trick called mirroring. Now let me explain what this is and how this works. Basically mirroring or mirroring and matching is something you're gonna be doing when you're first talking to a girl. Or you can even use this when you're talking to a guy. Maybe there's a, uh, a business event or a networking event where you're trying to connect with someone on a faster level. And so what you're gonna be doing is you're actually gonna be mirroring and matching their body language but also the way in which they speak, the speed in which they speak, the words that they use, the actual tonality of how they're speaking to you, you're gonna be matching that in a way you're gonna be copying that as a way to connect with them faster. And the reason why this works so well is because when someone meets someone who is similar to them, and of course, this is gonna be through the style of using your nonverbal communication. When this happens, it almost feels as if there's no threat, right? Like there's no difference here, there's no conflict here between you and the other person. Therefore, they're similar, therefore there's no conflict, therefore you guys can create a faster connection because they trust you. All right, so let's talk about mirroring and matching. So how are we gonna do this? Well, in order to mirror someone that you're talking to, it has to be like, you're standing in front of a mirror. So what happens when you're standing in front of a mirror and let's say you put your right hand up like this? Well, you're gonna see another person right, in the mirror who is also putting their hand up and it's matching yours. But it's your right hand and it's their left hand. So what you wanna do is when you're talking to someone, you almost wanna mimic and mirror the way that their body language is, okay? But you gotta be careful about this. If you really wanna do this, you can't just be completely copying every single move they do as they do it. But for example, let's say if they, you know, put their you know, hand right here like this, like they're kind of resting their hand like this, maybe in a, in a minute or so, you'll kind of do something similar. Maybe not exactly like that, but you'll put your hand over here too. Maybe you'll be touching your face like this because they're touching theirs. And again, it's the mirror. So their side, which is gonna be their left side and your right side, for example, if you're doing that. Maybe they're crossing their legs in a certain way, you can mirror that. Maybe they are uh, smiling in a certain way, you can mirror that. Maybe uh, their hands are clasped like this and they're kind of in front of them on a table, right? So their hands are in front of them on a table like this. That's another way. So again, you can do this very subtly, don't mimic it exactly, but just a little bit and maybe a couple minutes after they put their body language in position. I know this sounds kind of crazy, like are they gonna be able to notice this? But here's what's really wild about this. If you've ever been hanging out with someone, and I know this happens to me all the time, and it's someone who you know really well and you guys are just kind of hanging out, you're talking, maybe you're going out to dinner, something happens. When you guys are on a connected level, you start to do this subconsciously. So you're gonna find that whenever you're talking to someone, you actually accidentally mirror them because you feel so connected to them, which means that you're actually mimicking what they're doing. So people are doing this anyways without even trying to do it. I'm just making you aware of it here. So another way to do this is using certain words or inflections that they're using when they're talking to you. So I know, again, this is different from body language, but it's not talking about what they're saying. It's not the communication of the words, but the way they're saying the words or the words that they're using. So you might be uh, repeating maybe a, a slang term that they're using, or maybe you know they're talking in a way where they're talking really slowly, and so you're gonna be matching them. So imagine if 
you were with someone who's talking really fast and you're talking slow, there's, a, there's like a disconnect there. So you want to connect in a way where you guys are on that same level, same energy level, and that's shown through the pacing of your voice, the sound of your voice, and also the words that you're saying. I have a lot of other cool tricks and hacks like this in my Hooked program. So if you go to getterhooked.com, you are going to end up on a page that will explain a full program that's accessible to you that teaches you how to tap in to this attraction. So if you ever want to learn how to really get a girl completely hooked on you and loving every single word you're saying, there's more to it than just a mirroring trick like this. There's more things to do and more ways to build sexual tension. And I teach you steps A to Z how to do that in the Hooked program. So if you're completely lost on where to begin with women, I urge you to check this out. Go to getterhooked.com to see that. Also, write a comment down below. Tell me what you think of this trick and tell me if you use it and tell me if it works. And we'll catch you on the next video.